Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here with TRQ. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about misfires and the causes of misfires. So if you have a P0300 code or other associated code with misfires, we're gonna show you the possible causes today in this video. Let's talk about what a misfire is. Your engine likely has multiple cylinders. In this case, there are four cylinders, and they all have to produce the same amount of power in order for the engine to run smoothly. If one of them does not, that would be considered a misfire. So, in other words, it doesn't go through a complete combustion cycle and therefore doesn't produce adequate power and puts the rest of the engine behind. It usually makes the engine run rough. When it comes to misfires and check engine lights, there's one you really want to watch out for, and that's the flashing check engine light. If you see a flashing check engine light while you're driving or while the engine is running, address that immediately. Do not wait. Basically what that's saying is whatever condition is causing a misfire can damage your catalytic converter or your engine. Basically, if you keep driving, it's going to get a lot more expensive. Now let's talk about the different conditions that can cause a misfire condition within your engine. This engine is running fine now. Everything is working like it's supposed to. But I'm gonna simulate a misfire condition in a couple of different ways. I'm gonna disable the spark. And you can see that the engine is not running very well at all on three cylinders, because that's exactly what's happening right now. So if you don't have spark in a cylinder, it can cause your engine to misfire. Now it's got spark again, it's smoothed out. The same thing can happen if there's a fuel delivery issue. So I'm gonna unplug this fuel injector and show you what happens to the engine. It creates a misfire situation. So if the engine is not getting proper fuel, it can misfire as well. Another thing that can cause a misfire are vacuum leaks. And vacuum leaks are any leak in the intake system after the throttle body. So the throttle body is here. Any leaks in this area all the way going up to the cylinder head that happen can cause misfires. Or it can cause the engine not to run at all. The point is the engine needs a proper mixture in order to run smoothly. Another thing that can cause misfires, on engines equipped with a mass airflow sensor. This is a sensor that's located just after the air filter and before the throttle body. If there's any leaks in the area after the mass airflow sensor before the throttle body, this can also cause a misfire situation, and I'll demonstrate that here. That's air that's not accounted for. All the air passing past this mass airflow sensor is used to calculate fuel mixture. Any air that sneaks in past it, well, you can see that can cause a problem. An emission system can contribute to a misfire situation. And what I'm talking about specifically here is the EGR system, or exhaust gas recirculation. The job of this system is to reroute the exhaust gas back into the intake to help reduce some emissions. What can happen is the passages that go into each individual runner inside the intake can get clogged up with those exhaust gases. They've got some gooky stuff in them sometimes. And when those passages get clogged up, it can cause a misfire situation. So that's another possibility you can look at if you have a misfire. Up to this point, we've covered the more straightforward causes of a misfire condition. But the one that I often see so overlooked and that is a mechanical issue with the engine. In this case, this is a Honda engine and these valves can be adjusted. If these valves are misadjusted, that can cause a misfire situation. Or if an engine jumps time, in other words, if it's timing chain or timing belt, jumps its timing, that can cause the engine to misfire. Additionally, if the exhaust becomes restricted for any reason, say the catalytic converter is damaged and clogged, that can cause a misfire situation. Also, if the engine is overheating, if the engine's too hot, it can't run properly, that can cause a misfire. Also, if the oil is low, too low in some cases, it can cause an engine misfire and engine damage. So do not forget about a mechanical cause for a misfire if that's what you're dealing with. Look for mechanical issues as well as anything electronic, fuel delivery, or spark delivery. A compression test is a good indicator of the mechanical condition of the engine. It doesn't tell you everything, but it's certainly a place to start. This engine is good, and all cylinders should be about within 10 to 15% of one another. Here's something you probably haven't thought of. System voltage, or low system voltage, causing a misfire condition. Especially on late model vehicles, system voltage is critical to the operation of the sensors and the actuators and everything that makes the engine run. If you have low system voltage, that stuff can't work properly and it can cause a misfire condition. So don't rule out system voltage or an issue with system voltage as a possible cause of a misfire condition. 
I hope the information that I've presented to you in this video will help you if you have a misfire condition in your engine, a check engine light, or better yet, a flashing check engine light. You definitely want to pay attention to that right now. I'll put additional information down in the description to help you further diagnose things. Uh, also links to other stuff, so check the description for additional information. I'm Eric the Car Guy here with TRQ. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.